bring you greetings this day, this wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, as we approach Christmas Day. I want to thank all of you so much for your participation and joining in us in this virtual Bible study hour, Word on Wednesday. And certainly we are embarking upon the close of a whole year, a different year, a challenging year. But one thing for sure, let us never forget the reason for this entire season. And that's what we want to talk about today. And I want to ask of you to get out your Bibles, your mobile devices, and go with me to a very familiar, very familiar passage of Scripture that's found in the Gospel as recorded by John. John 3, 16 and 17. John 3, chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come now in the name of your Son, Jesus. We thank you for this time of study. We thank you for your word. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for this time that we're together, together, Lord, virtually, and certainly we ask now that you would have your way. I pray, Lord, that your word would go forth and certainly not return into the void. I pray, Lord, that all these listening ears and viewing eyes will be able to receive what thus says the Lord, realizing this is a good season, and you are truly the reason for the season. I can't teach without you. I need you. I pray, Lord, that you would use me to thine own glory. Have thine way. Have thine way. And certainly, Lord, I pray that you would allow now the very words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart to be acceptable in thy sight. For, Lord, you are my strength, and you surely are my redeemer. And it's in the name of Jesus the Christ, servant's prayer. Amen. All right. John chapter 3. Beginning with verse 16, we're just going to look at verse 16 and 17 today. And it reads on this wise, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. I just want to talk about God's precious love. One of the things that we really try to impress upon in this time of year, as always, and everyone is making sure that all of the things that we try to talk about and teach and get over to our loved ones and certainly those that we run across, we want to make sure that we tell the greatest story to all of the people. For this is the greatest story that's ever told, and that was the birth of Jesus the Christ. For it's found in Luke chapter 2, where it's real, where it's so real, where it says, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And certainly we want to know, for there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And certainly we know that during this time of year, there's a lot of activity, a lot of excitement, and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm also witnessing as it relates to even in spite of this pandemic and all of the surges of cases that we're looking at as far as the coronavirus, COVID-19, there's still a high level of excitement and activity as it relates to travel and shopping and family preparations for gatherings and so forth. 
as it relates to uh, this, this time of year. But let us not, let us not forget the true reason for this season. And even though we're gathering in excitement and there's a lot of, a lot of love being shared throughout the city and all, through, all across this country and every, every home, and certainly we want to make sure, though, that we incorporate the birth of Jesus Christ and just exactly what all of that really and truly means. For just like it reads, John wrote, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son through virgin birth that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And, and certainly we know that Jesus was born as our Savior. He was born to save us from our sins and certainly we realize the importance of being saved as key to eternal, eternal life. One of the things that I really, really, really appreciate it as it relates to sharing this information is the fact that these lowly shepherds who was able to receive this announcement from the angel in reference to finding where Jesus was being born and certainly making their way immediately following the announcement to find the baby who was wrapped in swaddling clothes and when they got there they heard the announcement even further through a multitude of angels and I believe that they made the announcement say glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So what we want to make sure that we have an announcement and always encouraging those in this time of year to submit themselves to Jesus. The shepherds responded, they made the report, they received the good news. And what was the good news? The good news was that a Savior had been born and he was here to meet our greatest need to save us from our sins. So this season, in spite of all that we are hearing information through the news media, we want to make sure that we spread the news, the good news, the gospel, letting those that are unsaved and lost that we have a Savior. God sent him. So he sent him to die for us and he died on that cross at Calvary. And on the third day he rose with all power in his hand. And we want to make sure that the world knows and in the time in which we live right now, there's no greater opportunity because we are seeing so many setbacks and so many letdowns as it relates to our government and all of the different things as it relates to this pandemic and the situations that's causing us to have so many struggles and dire needs. And it just, it's just unbelievable that we're experiencing all that we're going through right now and people are truly hurting. And one of the things that we must make sure that in times like these, you need a savior. And we want to express our, our love towards others, demonstrating our own faith, sharing the gospel, letting them know there is a, there is a savior that's available, that will save you from your sins, that will give you life eternal. And we want to thank God for sending his only son certainly you must believe in him and, you, and, and life life will be worth a living just just because you believed in your heart that God raised him from the dead and confessed with your mouth the Lord Jesus the Bible simply makes it plain that thou shalt be saved so in spite of all the terrible things that we're experiencing and the many great challenges that we're going through 
as it relates to COVID-19, the economic struggles, and all of the justice issues and unfairness and racism and all of the different things that are going on at this time, please, please, my brothers and my sisters, make sure that we let the world know, let everyone know that Jesus is real. And Jesus is alive, he's alive, he's alive. And truly, if you want to be saved, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And certainly we ask that all of you would have a great, 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 great Christmas celebration. Truly we ask that all of you would be extremely safe. Please be extremely safe. And I say that carefully and I say that cautiously because one of the things we're learning now, even now, there's another form of this COVID virus that's, that has mutated and it said it spreads faster than the one prior to this. And uh, we, we don't know exactly where it is, but we have an idea for the relation to where it came from, and we don't know who's bringing it, how it's being spread it. But I know one thing for sure, we have to be extremely safe, extremely careful in this time in which we live right now. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wash your hands constantly, wash your hands constantly, and please watch your distance in the stores, retail stores, grocery stores, at the uh, service stations, when you're going in and out just to, just to pay an opportunity to get gas, and, and even using items that you have to touch. You make sure that you use your sanitizer, carry it with you, and wear gloves and so forth. You gotta, you gotta do everything that's possible to keep yourself safe and your family as well. Because one of the things we want to make sure that this, this will not take, take, take any, 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 any unnecessary measures. That we must do what we have to do in order to preserve life and keep all of our family and keep ourselves safe from this coronavirus. So. So my brothers and my sisters, let's be careful. Let's celebrate Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate Jesus Christ and let's have a good time and with joy and laughter and fun and certainly we can do it through FaceTime, we can do it through uh, Facebook, we can do it through Zoom. We have several mechanisms by which we can communicate with our family. But if we just have to be in person, if we just have to be with one another in that way, please take every precaution and whatever you do, whatever you do, please always remember that Jesus is the reason for this season. I want to say God bless you. May God keep you is our prayers on this day. Amen. city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David.
Holy Spirit. Thank you. 